So hi everyone, as we look at the modern day swing, the footwork and the leg work and some of the shoulder planes in this video, we're going to compare this to the traditional swing and find out how to match things up. What's the, what's the style that's best suited for you as we can see some of the moves of the modern day players. Are we going to be looking more at the traditional type of swing where we're seeing the classic leg work of the greats? Are you going to hit the ball better from these positions? Guys, let's have a look as we move through the video and look at some of the, the best players out there and some of the ways we can uh, practice footwork and leg work and shoulder playing and get ourselves into some uh, wonderful positions to hit uh, some, some better shots. So guys, right, we're going to be looking at footwork here, talking about how to improve your footwork and perhaps also what's important to understand is a couple of exceptions to the rule. When we're looking at uh, some of the great players, Nicholas, probably the best footwork, the trail leg, the foot that I've seen, when we saw Hogan, Lee Trevino, many of the great, um, you know, even looking at McElroy through the golf ball, uh, there's just so many players, but we're seeing some exceptions to the rule when we're seeing the right leg from Justin Thomas, uh, Colin Morikawa, players that are kicking the right leg out there. We'll talk about that. Normally, you know, when we're seeing that type of move, it's people that started the game extremely early and uh, really young ages, and they use their legs to fire their, their body to get club head speed. And uh, when you're looking at that type of style, what we're really seeing is when we're seeing the right leg kick out, we're seeing shoulders come in with incredible angles that just normal people can't do. So we're going to look at both of those in this video and later on talk about something there with some, you know, have a clip there with some evidence-based material to uh, get an understanding of what and how we can use our feet and uh, legs more effectively in and around impact, very important area. Now looking at getting, you know, some of the classical footwork when we've seen great players here, you know, we've seen the, the right leg down, we've seen the ankle bone down onto the ground, we're seeing the spikes from, you know, the right foot here moving in impact with this, you know, this hip low and getting into a great position like that. It really is, you know, getting your leg work into a right, correct position has, you know, a tremendous chain reaction on what your hips and, and the rest of your body is doing. So uh, it's important thing to notice. Now, when we have a look at getting into a, an impact position where, where we see the right leg moving out, this is generally speaking, this, this right leg kicking out in this direction. It's a nasty thing for the goal swing. Uh, generally, it causes the left hip to move too low and it also generally causes the right shoulder to come up and most of the time we're working with the shoulders a lot. We don't have lateral shift as we know we need four to six inches on average forwards and the hips opening. These are the averages of movement, important thing to look at. Right, so how do we get in there and, and understand what's happening? How can Colin Murray Cowan and some of these players, Justin Thomas, work this leg out? Well, their leg actually does come out, but it still moves forwards a long way. All right, so they're moving the right knee out, but it's moving forwards towards the target at the same time. And then they're having tremendous side bend and neck tilt. So when something's thrusting out here, they're getting away with it because they've got their upper bodies moving in such a fashion through the ball that their heads and necks are turned on the side and it keeps them in the shot. Now, if you're having a, a right leg that's kicking out and you've got level shoulders, you'll just get ripped off the shot and hit huge pulls and you'll probably get stuck as well. So essentially we don't want this right leg to move out, we want it to move in this direction. However, if you are you know, looking at junior golfers, you'll see at times that right leg kicking and if you can match that up with a deeper shoulder turn through the ball, really keeping your head on the side, you'll stay in the shot more. So you can work something underneath you really, really hard if you've got side bend and neck tilt. If you're up more level, you know, if you haven't got that flexibility, then you might want to look at getting into a position here where that right leg is not kicking out as much. And I'll show you an exercise. So guys, before I show you a couple of great drills to work on your leg work and your footwork, let's have a look at the modern style of leg work and how they get it to work, how they match it up. And we have a look at the conventional style. Jack Nicholas on the right, one of the best ball strikers ever, one of the longest hitters ever. Justin Thomas, who McElroy says is the best iron player that he's ever seen, which is absolutely unbelievable. Let's have a look at that right leg kick and the left heel lift. Right, you would think that's pretty hard to hit it from there, right? But watch this for a move. Right, this is absolutely remarkable. Now, can you bend your body into this position? I'm going to look at this. Have a look at this shoulder plane here. When we're over 60 something degrees with a driver, 
It's absolutely unbelievable. And we've got the neck tilt head on the side. And what, what I'm suggesting here, what, why it happens, when the right leg kicks, if you steepen that shoulder plane, it keeps you in the shot. Otherwise you get ripped off it. And, and you'll just hit huge pulls and blocks. So they're making it work. Now Justin started golf at two, two years of age, right? So that, when there's a video on YouTube I did, and it, when he was five years old hitting balls, and the swing looks exactly the same. Now you look at the modern day handwork up the top here, you can obviously see lead wrist and extension, you've got that curve and that, but that head and body on the side compared to something that's not as stressful on the back, look at that right foot. I mean, obviously it's remarkable. You know, One of the things people that a lot of people don't realize in the golf swing, they're not really looking at is this hip plane. I'll just quickly show you here. Now you're getting this up around 10 to 17 degrees for the, for the, on average. And even these top players, they do have similar moves. Even when they're having similar styles, they've got these moves in the swing. They've still got the, the averages of movement. They're still making it work. All right, so let's have a look at it, just a couple of drills coming up here. And um, it's not just about power. Nicholas was huge. We've got, we got DeChambeau hitting an absolute mile with similar footwork to Nicholas. And, uh, but we see a lot, of the, a lot of the players out there that uh, are moving their bodies uh, in, in different ways. Have a look at the footwork there through the golf ball. I'm telling you, this is hitting into a solid left side is going to give a lot of people a much better chance. We've seen so many great players do it. And it's this angle, people, that I'm talking about. And it, it's it, Lee Trevino, getting this angle down quite low through impact. Mickey Wright, one of the best players ever. And I've been able to improve so many people's ball striking by getting this move this right knee to move into the left because we've got four to six inches of lateral and the hips open between 30 to 50 all right and you're looking at getting your lateral shift and unfortunately too many club golfers are coming through like this so what are you, what's your numbers there now in world class golf we are selling this the v1 pro studio here this is a remarkable system you get in there and draw all your angles and your lines your averages of movement and you will get better and we've just seen so many of the world's best ever ball strikers Hogan moving that right leg in a similar fashion. Now here's a couple of great drills. When we're looking at doing like normal sort of footwork and improving something, here's one of the professionals uh, that I teach from California who we're working on improving pivot and, and leg work. This is Dodge Kemmer, a wonderful, powerful looking action. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. And when you draw a couple of lines in here, people, and we talk about uh, improving your swing and filming your swings in your mobile phones, worldclassgolf.com. Platforms with a thousand videos on guys really should have a look at that. It is remarkable and growing. See the alignment stick in front of the right ankle here, the right knee. And what we're doing in this video is we're trying to keep to get the right knee to stop from kicking out as much, getting a little bit more depth of pivot. This is a drill, remarkable depth. Look at the head moving down and right back down on that original shaft plane. And yet we know that there's around three inches of movement downwards. That's the average. You can hit it with a bent right arm, hold on to your angles. And we get this sort of look with this drill where Tiger Woods and Ben Hogan are moving up through the ball. Now the last final drill that I want to talk to you about here and it's an important one to notice, is getting ourselves um, working with an understanding that if you, this is a great position to be in, but if you, what you're looking at doing, if you're going to be, what you don't want to do, if your right leg's kicking out this way, you don't want to have level shoulders. This actually makes your, your shoulders turn sort of level, right? So we, we don't want to have a, a level turn through here when that right leg kicks out. So if you are a person that has the right knee kicking out and you haven't been able to get rid of it, get some side bend and some neck tilt. But this drill is an interesting one, people, when we're looking at you know, improving, improving our leg work and just get a bottle of water and you can put it on the, just slightly behind the middle of your stance and just knock that bottle of water over. And it's, it really is a great drill to get some of that, that movement with that right leg down and under 70 degrees. And that's some of the stuff we're showing you on worldclassgolf.com. Guys, yes, interesting leg work, footwork, the modern day swing, and not many people are able to get into those positions. You might be better off looking at the more conventional style, improving your footwork, getting your hands on the right information. Online lessons, helping people from all over the world. It's the same platform as this here, my online lessons, the YouTube videos, you get your side-by-side -side examples and drills and exercises. And for a platform to be able to become your own coach and join a community, have a look at worldclassgolf.com. Guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that uh, helps you out.